Hi, I'm Vendana, the Technology Development Manager at Element 14. I'm here to introduce the new Freedom Canada Cell Freescale platform. This is brought to you exclusively by Element 14. It is a small, low-power, cost-efficient evaluation and development system for quick application prototyping and demonstration. It combines an industry standard form factor with a rich set of third-party expansion board options. An integrated USB debug interface offers an easy-to-use mass storage device mode, flash programmer, a virtual serial port, and classic programming and run control capabilities. The featured Kinetis KL2 MCU on board is the industry's first ARM Cortex-M0 Plus-based controller. This offers increased versatility, intelligence, and performance for today's applications. Leveraging the strengths of 8- and 16-bit MCUs, such as low static power, small footprint, low cost, ease of use, and combining that with 32-bit systems, which provide high performance, high energy efficiency, scalability, software reuse, the Kinetis L provides the ideal opportunity for users of legacy 8- and 16-bit architectures to migrate to 32-bit platforms. This particular MCU is especially suitable for applications that require longer battery life, with power consumption as low as 9 microamps per megahertz on a 90 nanometer process. The KL25Z128VLK4 Cortex-M0 Plus MCU comes with an internal flash of 128 KB and an internal 16 KB SRAM. It can operate up to 48 megahertz. It has a USB full speed controller built in. The sophisticated USB debug interface is supported by the onboard Kinetis K20 processor. There is a tricolor LED that is powered with the, by the PWM from within the KL25 processor. It has a capacitive touch slider and a Freescale MMA8451 accelerometer on board. There are many power supply options offered with this board. It can be with a USB connector, it can also be with a coin cell the battery holder being provided on the board. There are 5 and 12 volt inputs that are offered on the I.O. headers as well as a 3.3 volt input and output on these headers as well. A reset button has been located here to reset the functionality of the board. The form factor as mentioned before is compatible with hardware designed to work with Arduino and Arduino compatible boards. The software support includes the Freescale Code Warrior, Kyle MDK, and third-party solutions. To learn more of what the software solutions are for this board, please visit element14.com slash freedomboard. Stay tuned for more demos and software updates in the coming weeks for this board. The board itself will be available in September, but be first to receive and evaluate the board by pre-ordering them at element14.com slash freedomboard. Thank you.